This is the Transformers Generations Legacy Evolution Core Class Dinobot Swoop. This figure is part of the third wave of these Core Class Dinobots to form Volcanicus. I picked up this figure from my local Toys R Us store for a whopping $18. $18 for a Core Class figure. My goodness. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to this figure. Ever since it was revealed, I thought this figure had the potential to be the best Core Class Dinobot in the series. Let's get this this guy out of packaging. And here is Core Class Dinobot Swoop out of the box. And boy, this figure looks amazing. I knew he had the potential to be an amazing figure, if not the best Dinobot in the Core Class Legacy Evolution line. And man, man, I was right about this figure. This figure looks terrific. Articulation is amazing. Details are amazing. Transformation and engineering is amazing. I'm sorry to be gushing all over this figure, but it really is a good core class Dinobot figure. Let's take a closer look at the details of this new core class Dinobot swoop. The figure stands at about 10 centimeters tall or about four inches tall. And for comparisons here, he is with the other core class Dinobots from the Legacy line. We've got Grimlock, Slug or Slag, and Sludge. And he's looking to be the tallest out of the lot. Even taller than Grimlock if you count that crest on top of his head. But if it's just on top of his head, he's about the same height as everybody else head to toe. And here he is with my banged up G1 swoop. I mean, so the figure comes with accessories, uh, two blasters, which is always a good thing for core class figures because usually the budget is so little, there's so little room for anything, for any accessories or weapons. So this is really cool. And these weapons are actually his blasters and his missile launchers or, or guns in Dinobot mode. But what's interesting also is that they found a way to engineer both weapons to combine to form the fist in combined mode. So I think that, I thought that was pretty cool. So they look like Cybertronian Tommy guns and he can hold each gun. Uh, it's a three millimeter peg uh, in either hand. I thought that was pretty cool. Also, the instructions tell you that you can store the weapons in robot mode here on the wings. Uh, that's, that's also where you store them in Dinobot mode. But I will warn you, once you peg it in too deep, it is quite a nuisance to remove. So be very careful with that. Okay. As far as the details of this figure go, man, it is amazing. Every panel just full of sculpted detail. Look at that head sculpt. Look at that chest, that torso, the arms, the legs. Absolutely incredible sculpting. I mean, for a core class figure. Articulation of the figure, the neck is on a ball joint. As you've seen earlier in the video, you can look up, do a Superman pose. Which is very cool because he's a flying Dinobot. So very cool. Ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows. He does have a waist swivel because of transformation into his arm mode, but it is hindered by the beak of the Pteranodon. So you got to pull it up like this if you want that full rotation on the hips or the waist. Also move the wings out. Okay, uh, hips are on ball joints. You can do the splits forward and backward. You got thigh swivel, hinge knees that go, I would say 180 degrees because of transformation. Uh, no rocker tilt, but the the feet are already angled so that they're tilted. So no need for ankle tilts. Paint apps, uh, if there's anything to improve on this figure, it's probably the paint apps, especially on the wings. The wings have been molded in this really pearlesque, glossy, kind of silvery white plastic it's it's coming across as gray on the screen but it really is like a, a a very silvery white plastic and that's a shame i wish they could have used some form of silver paint that looked like this that as was as metallic as this gold paint they could have just sprayed it on i think that would have been cool but overall you know i'm i'm very happy even the gray bits i'm not complaining too much about it i just wish uh they could have painted it like for instance the legs the legs are made of the same same plastic they've spray paint spray painted it with this really nice gray paint so i don't understand why they couldn't have done some metallic silver paint on the wings and then again you know could have been budget uh, restriction so okay all right so let's get him into his pteranodon alt mode first thing you want to do is you want to fold up the head like that fold up the animal head like this and then the wings well i already had transformed it you got to open up the wings Put it off 
like that. And then these guns, like I mentioned earlier, they are going to tab onto the underside of the wings. Okay, and then the legs, they are, well, the instructions tell you to combine them first and then fold them up like this. This is just, it, it's so G1, the transformation. And then the arms, they are going to peg onto the sides here, and there, and basically, there is Swoop in his Pteranodon Dinobot alt mode. She looks fantastic without the guns. Very, very cool looking Dinobot mode. And for comparison, in alt mode, here is Swoop with the rest of the Dinobots from Waves 1 and 2. Uh, in their alt mode, Grimlock, Sludge, and Slug. And he does scale very nicely with them. Very, very cool. So to transform him into his arm mode or combine mode, you want to go ahead and remove these weapons. You're going to go ahead and unpeg the legs, unpeg the arms. You want to rotate that waist, fold up the wing, and then the instructions say to just tab the arms in, I mean, tab it to the torso. So I guess it, it means like you just tab it here under his, uh, his armpits, I should say. Yeah, because the, the, these tabs where they're supposed to tab and have been swiveled out. And this peg right here comes out to form the shoulder. That's where he connects as uh, the right arm of Volcanicus. And then uh, you just peg these weapons together to form the iron fist. And uh, <laughs> just peg it in right here. And there you go. That is arm mode. Now, I'm not going to show off the combined mode of this guy together with the other uh, core class Dinobots, not just yet, because I do have Scar coming up. So we'll show off the combined mode of both Swoop and Scar with Grimlock, Slug, and Sludge uh, in the Scar video. So do stay tuned for my uh, core class Scar video, which is coming up soon. And so some final thoughts on this Legacy Core Class Dinobot Swoop. I absolutely love this figure. I think it is the best Dinobot figure in the Core Class line for the Legacy line. And, you know, I'm very, very pleased with the way Hasbro and Takaratomi executed this figure. It's got great engineering. The design and aesthetic looks so G1 and at the same time cartoon accurate. I love both modes. Robot mode looks amazing. Great articulation. The alt mode. Dinobot mode looks terrific. Uh, it's compressed very well. The transformation is much like its G1 counterpart. I love how the weapons combine and split up. It's just very efficient as a fist in the combined mode. Uh, the arm mode is looking great. I cannot wait to put all these guys together. This figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. I genuinely love this figure. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Generation Legacy Evolution core class Dinobot Swoop. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.